guys have all seen this project before and what's it doing on the bench again? Well, it's reminded me to show you something else that I thought was interesting about using this little char charge controller with a 3.7 battery to make something else rechargeable as well. Here we have an Allcraft T1, a little kit I put together a while back, and I use this thing all the time. It works in um, every normal way. Press the power button, you get the uh, blinking indicator indicating the power is on. What's special about this one is I've done a little modification in the back. This is normally powered by a 9 volt battery. What I've done is without changing the architecture or the structural design is add the charge controller and a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery. The battery and the charge controller fit into the same pocket that the 9 volt battery would normally go into, but it's rechargeable. There's no need to carry an extra charger, extra cords, extra 9 volt batteries because this is charged with a normal micro USB cable. On your way to a POTA or soda activation, just plug the cable in, put it on the console in the car, and by the time you get there, it's charged. If you're at home at night, plug it in. The next day when you're ready to operate, this unit will be charged. And it's not like you're charging every day. I use a lot of uh, wire antennas in my portable operations and I haven't noticed any uh, noticeable differences between the regular 9 volt battery and this unit. One of the reasons I delayed in making this video is I wanted to make sure that this did work before I brought it to anyone and I, I hope this helps someone out. Maybe you won't uh, modify a uh, tuner, but you can see this application for something else that you use. I just took the little module and put it together with the battery. And then I connected two leads to the existing negative and positive posts inside the tuner itself. Hey y'all, take this opportunity now to like and subscribe if you've gotten anything out of the video. Um, also, if you do want to go back to using the normal or regular 9 volt battery, again, nothing was changed inside the T1 tuner that would uh, preclude you from doing that. One of the most important parts of this whole project is that in order to get the 3.7 volt battery to charge a 9 volt or above device, there's a pot that exists on the board where you connect the device and you use a Phillips, a small Phillips head screwdriver to change the voltage while measuring it with a voltage meter. On the board, besides the micro USB connection, you'll find two connectors for putting power into the device, two connectors to hook the battery to, and two connectors to hook up your device. So there, again, there you have it guys. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.